Alright, welcome to the fifth Python tutorial where we left off working on the store. So before we work on the store, one thing we'll need is the player's inventory. Before we do that, I want to create a dictionary called weapons. And it'll, it'll have a great sword. So this will be the key. So the name of the item. And then the value, which will be 40. So the price will be 40 gold. And we'll do self dot um, weapons will equal a list, and in that list we'll have a rusty sword, just as an example. And we also need one more list, and that's the current weapon that the player has, which will also be the rusty sword. So one thing I want to add is a property called attack and in this property so depending on what item you have will depend on what uh, buffs you'll get so we'll change this to base attack so if you have no weapons or anything equipped then your attack will just be 10 so attack will equal self dot base attack and then if the current weapon equals let's see rusty sword for example then the attack will go up by 10 or let's go 5 because uh, starting weapon And then if the current weapon oops, forgot to put sword right here is the great sword up here. So they bought this sword right here, and then they equip it. This will be the buff for that. The attack will go up by fifteen. And then this will return attack. And we need two equals because this is a conditional. Now let's go to the store. So in the store we'll have, first we'll clear the terminal by doing this command, the null print Welcome to the shop. And then what would you like to buy? And they'll have the options. And just an example, I only have one option, which will be the gray sword. But if we want to have like armor or bows or anything other than just like a sword, you do the same exact thing but you know, name it differently, and then you'll have different variables. So if you have like armor, for example, you might have like a base defense, and then you have another property that's called defense instead of attack. So yeah, gray sword seems fine. And then we'll just have an empty space. And then here we'll get the user's input. So now we'll have, we'll do if option in weapons. So if whatever they type in is anything that's in here, then it'll find that item in this dictionary. So, so you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. In weapons, and then if player IG got gold, they have enough, so we'll see if they have enough gold, is greater than or equal to weapons option then we'll buy the weapon so first we want them to lose gold obviously and then 
we want to append option. So whatever they type in, if it's a real weapon, so say the typing great sword, it'll be added into your inventory of weapons. So append option. And then if they don't have enough gold, we'll say you don't have enough gold. But we'll clear the terminal first. And I think we'll do that up here too. Just so the user can see the different things that are being displayed. You have bot, whatever they typed in. And then if whatever they typed in doesn't exist, that item does not exist. And then we also want to send them back to the shop as well. We'll go back to store. I want to do that in these. All right, so let's test to see if everything's working properly. All right, our attack is 10, so our bets are base attack. And then, oops, go to store, open the shop, gray sword, sign does not exist. Oh yeah. You need to type it in. You don't have enough gold. Oh, let's change our gold to 40. And then simply for debugging purposes, weapons, So our current weapon is Rusty Sword. We have 40 gold, go to the store. You have bought the Gray Sword. So now we have the Gray Sword. And one thing we'll do in the next tutorial is we need to create a system where you're able to equip and then unequip different items. And, oh, one thing we also need to add real quick There's a way to go back. So if option, then we'll go back to start one. Sorry, I forgot what I called all these methods because it's been a while since I made these tutorials. Attacks. There. Alright, so in the next tutorial, we'll create uh, 
inventory system that's actually working where you can equip and then unequip different items. Alright, see you in the next tutorial.